Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today I'm going to show you how to use auto animate uh, in Adobe XD to create some kind of a dolly zoom effect uh, intro page. So this is what we're going to have. So um, this is the, um, uh, the first intro page of um, uh, maybe um, uh, hiking trails web page. Once we click on this button, so dolly zoom effect animation, you can go back got trails and happy trails okay so please don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the like button and set the alarm uh, for my latest video then let's get started so first let's create a new Adobe XD document I'm gonna choose the other desktop version uh, 1280 by 800 pixel the small one so this is a new file, new artboard. And then also, please download the file. Uh, I made a link down below so you can download the files. So um, you're going to find that one PNG file looks like this. So this is what we're going to need. So first the thing is, in here, let me select this mountain image. This. And copy. Edit. And copy this image. And then back to XD. Let me zoom out and edit and paste it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it fit there. And then somewhere here. So I can see the, the water like a lake, uh, little pond up on the top of the mountain. And then also uh, back to Photoshop. Please select the hiker, this guy, and copy this guy, and back to Adobe XD, and paste it. I'm going to place him somewhere there in the middle, like that. Let me zoom in. I want to make sure he's on the bottom baseline. Okay. Let me move him to the left a little bit. Okay, just like that. Okay. And then also we're going to need to have a kind of a buttons. So what I'm going to do is let me draw uh, one rectangle. Size is about maybe um, 145 by um, 45 pixels. Something like that. It doesn't have to be uh, that dimension, but um, it's okay. Let me zoom in. I'm going to change some settings. So I'm not going to have a border. So let me uncheck the border. And then also I want a round corner. Like that. And let me change the other fill color option. So for now, as a white solid color, I'm going to choose linear gradient. Okay. And let me add one more point here. I'm going to choose something like that. Okay, so it looks like a kind of a little three-dimensional pill type. Okay, and then also I want to have a drop shadow. Uh, drop shadow color is a black, but um, opacity value up to 100. 100, maybe if it is too strong, maybe somewhere 80. I think 80 looks good, looks better. Okay, now let me have a type text on it. Uh, about page, about button. I'm going to choose uh, Helvetica, maybe a bold, and black. Make it slightly bigger, maybe 30 point. Uh, 30 is maybe too big. Maybe 25. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so I have a one button. Okay, then let me select the text and the pill together. I'm going to group them. Under Object Menu, Group, or Command G. And let me rename this group as About. Oh, by the way, I want to rename this, the very first image, as a background BG, and the second image as a hiker. Okay, so I have a one button now. 
above button. Let me have three more copies. So option, keep pressing your mouse button and drag it. And one more. And one more. Like that. Okay. And let me change the text. So second one, I want to rename it as a gallery. And then open your group. The text supposed to be gallery. And let me recenter. It's good. Third one supposed to be uh, maps button. So under this maps button group, select the text. Let me change the text to maps. It's good. The last button will be uh, FAQs. So let me open the FAQs group, select the text. I'm going to retype it as FAQs. Okay. So I have all four buttons and then a background hiker. And let me have one more text. Uh, I'm going to type something here. It's a kind of a maybe a catchphrase, but it's going to be really simple. So happy trails. Uh, lowercase happy trails okay I'm gonna have uh, white text and uh, let me apply maybe a text size maybe a 30 point slightly bigger and then I want to have a drop shadow like that so it looks good. Happy trails. And also, I want to have some kind of a cloud. So um, um, we can tell he's on the, the peak, the top of the mountain. So the, uh, there's a way to create the, uh, the cloud. So uh, there's a, uh, one, the third party website uh, I like, uh, brushlovers.com. And then you can search the other uh, clouds. And then uh, please download this one, 24 clouds. So this is the other brush. And then you can just yeah, upload that um, your brushes into your Photoshop. So let me open Photoshop and I'm going to create a new file. Since we are working on the 1280 pixel by 800 pixel, I'm going to keep the same size. 1280 pixels by 872. I'm going to have a black background. Black. Then set your foreground color and white. Select your brush tool. If you have the just name, just a general brush for now. What you can do is once you download the file, you can go to settings and import brushes and you can import the .abr file. That's the brush. Okay, so since I have one already, here let me scroll down uh, clouds so let me choose that okay and uh, my foreground color is white I'm gonna have just one cloud like that oh sorry create a new layer and then use your brush to create the other new cloud there so it looks good so uh, bottom layer, I have a black background. Top layer, I have a clouds. So select the top layer, select all, command A, and copy this cloud. Now back to XD and paste it. There. See? Like that. I have one there. I'm gonna have a, another copy of this cloud. So um, let me hold down the option and drag it so I can have a second copy, a little lower, somewhere there. Okay. And then watch this. Let me uh, make it simpler. So for now, uh, my clouds, let me rename this. This is a cloud 
number one that's cloud number two okay so um they are on top of this hiker but just to make it more uh realistic i want to have them under hiker just like that and if it looks kind of a too strong your uh, cloud uh, you can select your cloud and change the opacity value a little down like maybe 80% uh, it looks good okay so I'm pretty happy with my layout the final layout of my home page but uh, as I showed you at the very beginning we're gonna have some kind of an intro the entrance page before this page so what I'm gonna do is let me select the all elements in this page or command A then group them object group so this is group number one okay now let me zoom out I'm gonna make a copy of this entire artboard so select your artboard option and drag it on the left now we're gonna change the settings of this the other new artboard this one so select it in your layers panel open your layers and uh, first I'm gonna change my background image I'm gonna make it bigger and I'm gonna move it up somewhere there okay now cloud number one I don't want to keep this at the very beginning so let me move out out of the stage cloud number two you go there like that and also hiker I'm gonna make him smaller about this size let me zoom in so I can place him on the very bottom okay and also I want to change the text happy trails uh, let me change the text to uh, got trails I got the idea from the got milk got trails in the center and then also um, from the folder uh, you downloaded from my description uh, there is a one button the down arrow button so I'm gonna import it file import arrow.svg file let me make it a little bigger places center like that okay so it looks good and then also I don't want to show buttons at the beginning so um, about gallery map and FAQ so these four buttons I'm gonna move up like that okay so I think we are ready to move so what's gonna happen is once I click this the down arrow button the enter button I want to jump to this using the auto animate so now go to prototype then in your first page select your arrow button this one link to the next artboard trigger tab type we're gonna choose the auto animate is out and then a duration I'm gonna choose that just one second once I got here once we get here I want to have another kind of back button so I can go back to the very intro page so on this second page second artboard choose the hiker and link back to the first page is out and one second auto animate so I think we are ready so select your first artboard preview it got trails when I click on it isn't it cool also I can go back got trails so there's kind of a dolly zoom effect background is a kind of a zooming out and then the figure the featuring the, the this, uh, hiker is a zooming in like the other from the movie Jaws or Vertigo so one of my favorite effect I want to do something more uh, so for now when I click on this enter button my four buttons kind of coming down from the top so it's okay 
but I want to give some kind of little bit uh, different delay. So let me go back to design. Uh, let me choose my um, uh, about button and the gallery button. I want to move this up. My maps button even higher. And my FAQs even higher. There. Okay, now let's watch. You will see the difference. Got trails? Click. See? Four buttons is kind of uh, uh, falling down in the, the different timeline. Like a Domino's uh, block game. See? Got trails. Happy trails. Got trails. Happy trails. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and that you can use it uh, for your future uh, the prototype project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.